motherfucker too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Hey man, I ain't scared of you. You scared? Alright, here we go. We're live. What is going on, guys? Today is Thursday. You already know it, man. You know you're going to see me and Peter here. Sorry we were a bit late. We are working on our lag issue. Um, it's still solved, but the podcast must continue. Um, you and how uh, have you been last week? Yo, what up? It's your boy Peter Yang, and you already know what time it is, man. It's Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time. East, uh, 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 what is it? 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 9, 8, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, the Make It Rain podcast. We're so happy to be here again. Uh, another week. This is week 38, episode 38. And we are talking about our 99 problems. <laughs> Coming into the New Year's. Uh, anyways, uh, my week was good, man. Uh, you know, I enjoy doing these things with you. Uh, I enjoy, you know, you know, talking to the commenters, to the viewers, uh, most of which are, uh, what is it, uh, 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 are, are regular re re viewers, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to you guys, those of you guys who are always watching us and, and always commenting with us. We have a lot of fun with you guys. Uh, shout out to Peng, shout out to uh, Young Yi, our Patreon supporter. Oh, and Johnny. Yes, the Patreon supporter, Johnny, and of course, Frankie, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know the, in the Bible, it says, uh, where your treasures are so, are, so is your heart, right? So, you know, Frankie put a lot of his time and money into this, and so do I. So, shout out to the Patreon supporters, man. We love you guys. Uh, the week was good, Frankie. Um, it went by quick, you know. I think uh, it was work, and then we had a snowstorm. That was fun. I was driving in the snow. I hit the curb. <laughs> it was uh, it was fun. Man. I like I like driving in the uh, in the snowy weather, man. Using my four wheel drive, you know what I'm saying? The the element made for the elements. You be drifting? Yeah, dude. Oh yeah, intentionally, man. I got bad tires though. <laughs> so 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 I, I I barely try, and then I'm all sliding all over the place, man. So I try not to go. I try to go when there's like not a lot of traffic. That way, you know, I don't fuck anybody else up. Um, uh, yeah, and then now I'm here, dude. Um, good week, good week. That's dope, man. Very good week. I need that. I need that four x four too, man. I want to get a four x four element. Your isn't the SC? Um, the SC is not. Yeah, but my week. Nah, nah, it's not. It's only two wheel drive. Damn. But I think some of them do come four four wheel drive. Oh, okay. But mine's a mine's a two wheel. Uh, but my my weekend was um was a disaster. Oh shit! What happened? <laughs> so the funny thing, right? So I had uh, I had three shoots uh, this past weekend. Oh um, yeah. One of them I got mistaken. Right? And then and then so I had uh so I called uh, one of my funny one of my friends to come in, right? And she came in. We did we did some shoots. It was last minute. It was an hour. Um, and then the next day I was supposed to go shoot um another shoot. But it was too windy. The only day Fuck. out of the week it was really windy, so we couldn't we couldn't. Sh so <clears throat> come home, I'm like I have my whole new hard drive, and I bought a transfer. I put my card in there, and then the new hard drive, and I was trying to reboot the new hard drive, right? Yeah. Instead, I rebooted this the SD card, dude. So. Uh, the whole weekend, he just gone, dude. Like, gone. My worst nightmare happened um, over like just three years. I was trying to prevent this, and then, um, damn, bro, it happened. Fuck. It's not, it is what it is. But I mean, I it was good though, cause uh, I um I was I did a good prayer today. I mean, uh, during church, and. There was uh, there's some answers. It's, I I felt like God was just kind of telling me to like, hey, this is the wrong path that you may be taking. You got to be okay, because I was doing a lot of photography. So you know, taking it as a uh, as a day, as a win. But yeah, that was my weekend, man. And uh, work, 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 and. Uh, 
back to uh, the weekend. I got the LA Hmong New Year coming up this weekend. Uh, that should be fun. Uh, artists. How, how many? How many? How many? Uh... Only two Hmong. Your your audio is kind of chopping, chopping in and out. Your your audio is hella bad. The only two Hmong artists. You, you hear Damn. Your, 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 your audio is starting to be choppy, yeah. dude. <laughs> I didn't hear you for like a good five seconds. Ah, yes. Yeah. Technical difficulties. It's been a while. It's been a while, technical difficulties. We missed you. Hello, hello. But anyway, shout out to Peng, man. Peng Tao, what up? You didn't come, uh, you didn't come to the end of the show. Appreciate you. Hey, let us know what you think about the uh, the cancel series, Peng. We still gotta make some uh, some reels for that, man. Uh, I, we got a lot of a lot of wild stuff that we said on the cancel series. Let us know, Peng, uh, uh, what you think of the cancel series. If you checked it out, please check it out. Um, that's what you pay five bucks for. <laughs> but um, hey, I'm sorry to hear, Frankie. You know what I'm saying? Your your weekend, uh, your work weekend. You know, I, I know you try to build your portfolio and trying to get that going, make that you know side money. Or that main money, I should say, right? Um, I hope it works out for you. Uh, you did a little prayer. I heard that part, and then, uh, and then I didn't hear anything after that. But, uh, but I hope everything works out for you, man. It was good, man. Uh, it was good. I think um, you know, all my shoes. I was just kind of afraid to spend money, and then uh, you know, like I think that really proves a lot. Just like throwing a lot of money away. And you still get nothing out of it, you know. Um, you you can as long as I'm trying. You can always make it. money, but you can't get back time, man. That's the number one thing, man. It's your 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 time, precious time, dude. You it's know, an expensive lesson, man. Oh, an expensive lesson. Yeah. Tell you that. Prep time, dude. Um, okay. hey, Kajua, what's going on? Kajua's on the chat. Oh, uh, what up, Kajua? Get to see ya. Get to see ya. She's saying she's saying hi to me, by the way. She didn't, uh, or she. Oh, okay. And Peng, Peng was saying, hey, yo, to me. Thanks, Peng. That's uh, that's what. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to specify, man. You know what I'm saying? There's two of us on here, you know? Uh, <laughs> they're saying it to us, man. That's oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, <laughs> yeah, this week it was cool, man. Uh, it, was a, it was a good lesson. Um, you know, we're moving forward with it and um, cool. taking some good lessons out of it. That's cool, man. Uh, so my coworker, oh. check this out, bro. Okay. He was, like, he was like, "Hey, yo, man." He was like, "Yo, Frank." He was like, uh, "We barely see each other, but we, every time we do see each other, we have a good talk." That's He's cute. like, "Hey, yo, Frank, man. Like, hey, uh, what you been up to? Like, I I seen your uh, your reels on Instagram, ah. your, your your podcast, bro. I I ain't never said nothing to him about my podcast, bro. Yeah. Okay. And he was like, "Yeah, I see you on Instagram, man." Yeah. Oh, I was like, "Yeah, man." I was like, yeah, that that's what I do every every Thursday, dude. That's why I don't work on Thursdays, man. That's he was like, yeah, it's cool, man. I seen a couple of them. I was like, yeah, dude. Um, so we just kind of caught up on that. It was kind of cool. That's cute. Yeah. yeah, that's cool, man. Organic. Yeah. Um, oh, dude. So, uh, so after like the whole hectic weekend, right? So I was kind of upset. I was like, uh, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hit up. I'm gonna download a app. And Ficky just hit up every chick I see on there. <laughs> so okay. I, Is that, that the app I, I sent the, you? Uh, no, I, I downloaded the uh, East Meets East. Oh, okay, you okay, okay. Know? Heck yeah, dude. Okay. I got the, I got the premium, premium subscription. Hell um, yeah. But I messaged like about 100 chicks on it, bro. Oh, yeah. None of them replied back. <laughs> <laughs> it, got, it got so boring, dude. Oh, shit, I even dog. started to, like degrade myself. Oh god! But there was one chick. There was one chick that um, you know, she she piqued interest and she ended up replying back to me. Uh, she was older. She yeah. was older. She was like forty. Uh, she was blonde, and um, that's dope, man. She uh, yeah, yeah, she. I was like, hey, I was like, so what's what's a green flag? And she was like, oh, green flag? You're not gonna ask about my red flags? And I'm like, <laughs> and then I was like, I, was, I said something, and she was like, um, bye, goodbye, good luck to you. <laughs> and 
I replied back and I was like, you're going to need the luck more than me. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, dog. That's <laughs> wild, bro. God damn. She's just, she's just on there to just kind of wait for the, the sucker that messages her. <laughs> Only, only for her to turn them down. It makes her feel good. She's like, "Yeah, I'm 40. Nobody want me, but for the niggas that do, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna turn them down." <laughs> it was fun, man. It was fun. Um, I ended up canceling immediately after I had a refund on the subscription. I was like, "This is not worth it." Yeah, yeah. You know, quality people. Yeah, it's, it's been, you're gonna be. It's very hard to find quality people on there. Let's just say that. Cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. With that being said, man, um, uh, you ready to go into yeah. these videos? Yeah, let's get into it. Run to okay. the first segment. Cool, man. Well, as you guys know, everybody, you know I do have the description. Um, it says uh, write down in the comments how your New Year's is going so far for a shout out. So let us know how your New Year's is going so far. Uh, with that being said, let's go on to the first video, and I assume. That doesn't matter which order, so I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick a video. No. Hmm. Why is it not working? Uh, one second. I mess. I was messing with the uh, the settings earlier, and then uh, it doesn't look like it's letting me stream the video. So let me see. Huh? That's weird. Don't know why. Okay. Get jealous when your man is attracted to another woman. Let me explain. The shapes of a woman's body is telling his brain that this creature can support a human child. It is just a biological response that is embedded into all of us to ensure the survival of the human race. The ability to see it this way completely takes the power away from that attraction. As long as they're not taking action on that attraction, then there's no reason for you to have to feel jealousy. No, uh, I I can I can I can hear the video on your end. <laughs> uh, there's a bit of an echo, but um. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! Because yeah, uh, I couldn't. I couldn't hear you. That shit. That shit loud as fuck. Bro. Oh shit! I can still hear it, dude. <laughs> feel free to feel free to turn it off. But uh, um, hey man, that's a good video, dude. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like it's it's, it's the shit that we've been saying. You know what I'm saying? Like guys are just like just animals. You know what I'm saying? And so when we see. You know, when we see uh, uh, women out here, you know what I'm saying? Like, our eyes deviate, and then our minds go to a different place, and then we go hide in the bathroom for 38, 30 minutes, um, you know, and do stuff to ourselves, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it's nothing personal, it's nothing, you know what I'm saying, it's nothing to, to be concerned about, it's just, I think, uh, like you said, when, when there's no follow-up to, uh, uh, to the, through, when there's no like what is it pursuit you know what i'm saying when we don't pursue these uh these women it's not cheating you know what i'm saying i'm i look but i don't touch there you go that's the that's the that's the that's the quote look but don't touch um how do you don't you think it's like temptations though yeah dude oh yeah oh yeah man <laughs> i am uh i am uh i am that's my weakness my kryptonite you know what i'm saying my eyes deviate. So let's let let's reverse the row, right? Let's reverse the row, right? Okay. Let's say that um, the the woman is is looking at the man. Do you think the temptations are more likely? Because uh, the man is more likely. I don't know. I, I think uh, I don't know if women struggle in the same way like men struggle. You know what I'm saying? Like I think. Uh, 
or like, the, like I don't know if she's like looking at his bulge, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? Or uh you know, what Maybe. areas of the body is she looking at, you know what I'm saying? Or or when a guy steps into the room, you know what I'm saying, does she look at his ass right away or, or you know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. Because for me, like as soon as a woman, like if there's a silhouette of a woman, my 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 head is turning, you know what I'm saying? For some reason. It's like animalistic, you know, tendencies, you know. So I don't know if women have the same tendencies and urges, you know. Like, cause I think, what is it? Like, uh, most men like, uh, jerk off uh, and watch porn more than significantly more than women do. So there's that too. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure like women check out guys, but I don't think women check out guys in the, in the same manner that men, men do, you know, does that make sense? You know, I think, I think there are some, um, some horn dogs, yeah, I'm sure there's still like some horn and dogs. And I wonder what the, I'm sure what, the, like, what's a statistic behind that, you know? Yeah. Just a wandering thought. <laughs> to make me feel less, uh, because, you know, make me feel less guilty <laughs> for looking. <laughs> oh, shit. There's girls that, that do look, right? Let's just say that there's girls that do look. Yeah. And uh, men that does make the move. Don't you think, like, think temptations for the, for the girl you, you think that's kind of why cheating is is a real thing hmm infidelity i think uh i mean that's more yeah. more like uh i think for women i think they're they're comparing the next dude to the current dude i think that's what that's where the cheating happens you know like man this guy's a bum you know this mm. guy's a loser or this guy ran out of money you know what i'm saying i can't mooch off him so i need to find someone else you know, so I think that's where the infidelity comes in for mm. for a woman. Um, for a man, I think it's uh, it's probably um, not so much for like a body, you know what I'm saying, type of thing. You know, uh, lusting after another woman, I think it's more so for like, you know, a, similar reasons, I guess. You know, like this bitch, you know, keeps bitching, you know, and uh, or or uh, this bitch don't appreciate me or she ain't giving me pussy, you know what I'm saying? And so I got to go find me another one, you know. So I think, I think that's what causes infidelity. Um, it's not, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm sure there are cases where a dude is just like, oh man, she fine. I'm gonna slip in, you know, slip in, slip this dick in. You know what I'm saying? Or, or in, and a woman probably saying the same thing too, like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, give him this puss real quick. You know, um, so I, 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 don't, I, I think that's, I think yeah, those types know. of cases are rare, but it does happen. Like, um, like my, my gay friend, he's like, you know, he goes to spas and like m when gay men are together, oh man, um, <laughs> nothing but sex, bro. Cause all they do, all they, all they talk about is just oh, wieners. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, there's a bunch of dudes, man. Like a bunch of straight dudes even together talk about gay shit, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> when you get the homies together, man, you just talking about like, man, dude, dick sucking and dick sucking and ah, oh, that's funny, bro. All, 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 all <laughs> out of dick sucking, all, 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 all out of, all out of, man. I ain't about. never talk about dick sucking, <laughs> homie, though. Well, it's, it's like it's like when we dogging on each other, you know what I'm saying? Calling calling another uh, your homies gave, you know. And, and or when yeah. somebody slip out and say something gay and we just you know that's that's what I'm talking about that's what I'm talking about <laughs> not, not 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 actual yeah. you know gay activities that we want to do to each other I'm just but uh but anyways uh <laughs> yeah. thanks for sharing uh, uh, sharing that anyways, yeah let's uh let's segue moving on moving on let's uh, let's segue out of that one uh what? yeah yeah it's Anyways, um, that was uh, that was fun. That was fun. To, um, yeah, I think I think it's okay to look. It's okay to look. Uh, people's always gonna look as much as you want to deny it. You're gonna look. Oh yeah. Um, guys always look, man. So <laughs> yeah, not, as long he, as the action isn't there. The question or, or the uh, the concern is if he ain't looking, if he's not looking, yeah, <laughs> you should be worried. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, here we go. Just.
white Nike shoes were on sale. It just dawned on me. You know, I asked the question. I said, I wonder if it's possible that humans are, you know, we're no longer naturally grounded. I wonder if these shoes could be interfering with us. So I, that night I went to the hardware store and I bought a roll of metal duct tape and I just taped it across the bed. I threw a wire out the window and I had a ground rod outside. I connected to the ground rod on one side and connected to the metal duct tape that I had laid on the bed. So when I laid down on the duct tape, I was like grounded because it was connected to the earth. And I woke up the next morning and I thought, holy cow, there's something going on here because normally for me to go to sleep, I had to take Advil. Oh man, that was so informative, dude. That's a good video. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, being grounded is uh, such a big thing. Uh, I mean, it hasn't kind of caught, caught waves yet, but, uh, you know, running barefoot, uh, I, I enjoy running barefoot, um, on, on grass, uh, it's very cool and your nerves under your feet. And then, um, you know, I think we, we, we generate our own electricity. Our brain is generating electricity to our nerves and stuff like that. So I think there's some truth to it. Um, I don't quite know how you would do a study. Uh, I'm not smart enough to, to know those things or try those things, but, uh, I know, I know that is, I know that is a thing being grounded. Interesting. You know what, dude? I was uh, originally um, sending you this video because it didn't make no sense, but it seemed like you, you knew exactly. What <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I thought this was one of your conspiracy videos. <laughs> I, was that... like, you... <laughs> I was like, I was like, he's not gonna get this. He's not gonna understand. He's like, oh shit. This... Really turn on me, dog. <laughs> That's hilarious, dog. Um, like this, this guy's as dumb as I am, man. <laughs> let me, let me throw him a curveball. <laughs> He's oh <all> shit. <laughs> uh, but that was a. Uh, That's hilarious. I man. thought that was a trolling video. To yeah. be honest, it seems that way, doesn't it? You know what I'm saying? That you, you, you would uh, connect to the ground, yeah. to the earth. You know, be grounded as if we're like machinery you know i think uh i you know honestly i, I do believe uh there, there's probably some truth to it you know um i think uh some videos that i've been encountering is that like they people have been putting like some specific type of metal in their water um to separate the molecules mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that to also be grounded you mm -hmm. know and i was yeah. like oh that's yeah. interesting you know? yeah so but i don't yeah. know man I'm, I'm like i said you know i i haven't you know deep dive looked into it and but I, I do know that like barefoot running is, is a thing. Uh, I got barefoot running shoes. Um, you know, when I used to be more active, uh, I, I would, you know, just jog in the field and and just enjoy it, you know. But I don't know. You know, um, yeah, uh, they said that after when you travel to, to get rid of jet lag, you're supposed to um, put your feet on the ground and feel the earth for like 10 minutes at least okay be earth yeah to um not get jet lag cool interesting i got that from a, a discovery channel i believe i thought it was kind of interesting uh so the cool thing that you mentioned about the electricity thing dude so my friend uh you, you remember jimmy jimmy uh he's yeah. um a huge like he wants his future he wants to do uh was it like exactly what you what you want to do like the homestead from land homestead yeah, yeah the homestead yeah so did you know that tesla uh they already created this this tower that can create free electricity it's uh it's the shape of um like churches like it's like a it's like a dome i wish i had the uh, solar I is I it solar you guys man or what is it it's solar. It's like um, it's like a church. It's like the like around it, like a like white like like the White House. Yeah. The points. A dome. Yeah. It's weird to kind of. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty interesting. Um, but I can't bring um put it up because we are. Thinking. <laughs> yeah. I hate to talk about things. I hate to talk about things that I can't bring up, man. Yeah. I can't tell you guys. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how to describe it. But this is this thing. This one thing that does this thing and. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I, I don't. 
<laughs> yeah, it's that thing, right? I don't know that thing. Uh, That's funny. But uh, okay. So so what about Jimmy? He's he. He wants to be off grid and yeah. He mentioned that um, he wants to be off grid. Uh, he said that you know you can create uh electricity, free electricity. Uh, from that tower, uh, he showed me the tower, and I was like, "Oh, that's been interesting." Got looked more into it. Okay. Uh, so apparently, government's been uh, getting free electricity and selling it to us. Oh yeah, and you know, like uh, uh my workplace, oh, yeah. um, my workplace, they they bought uh, a bunch of solar panels, and then so like on um like during the spring and summer, they generate you know a lot more uh, energy than they actually need. And then so they sell that power back to the state. So that's pretty cool. That, that that's a that's a thing too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Hey, so yo, shout out to Young Ye, the Patreon. He said, "Why I always got to be mindful of my volume when I listen to y'all." <laughs> <laughs> we, we talking about? Is it because of the mic or is he just? No, no, it's because of the shit we talk about. <laughs> You gotta lower it, you know what I'm saying? It's like watching, it's like watching porn, you know what I'm saying? You gotta watch that shit on headphones or on low volume, you know what I'm saying? Talking about the, oh, that's funny, the wieners and stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. I ain't talking about wieners. What? Yeah. It's a Christian podcast. We don't talk about wieners here, bro. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, being grounded, you know, there's so much, uh, there's so much, uh, what is it, information that we don't quite know, like like how how the pyramids were made, right? The technology at that time. What did they use to make those, you know, intricate structures, you know? Uh, not not only intricate, but they're right, like right. massive structures, you know. So there's there's a lot of secrets left to left to uh to discover. Uh you and I know that we are not the people to discover that. <laughs> but but in the meantime, we here talking about wieners. That you can depend on us. Okay, next video. She gave her boyfriend her kidney to save his life, then he cheated on her. And if you're thinking, oh, wow, can't get any worse than that, well, it does. Colleen met her boyfriend through mutual friends, and early in the relationship, he told her he had chronic kidney disease and had daily dialysis. Colleen felt terrible about this, wanted to help, and gave him her kidney. After this, the boyfriend no longer had to do dialysis, and his life completely changed, but so did hers. A few months after the surgery, the boyfriend uh. went to a bachelor party in Vegas with his Christian friends, and he was constantly texting Colleen saying he just wanted to be home reading the Bible. She told him, have fun, you're not on dialysis anymore, enjoy life. He cheated on her, and not with just anybody, but a friend of theirs. He Christian told Colleen friends. about it, and she was devastated, but wanted to make things work and was willing to give him another chance. That led to trust issues. He got mad that Colleen didn't trust him, so he broke up with her and said, quote, if God wanted us to be together, he would bring us back together and then ghosted her. But to make things even worse, he accused Colleen of doing the transplant just to look good. Oh, what a trash human being, bro. God damn, man. Oh, man. Why do why do people suck, man? Sometimes you run into these shit bags, man. You know, and then you just want to strangle the life out of them, man. Oh, bro. That's a that's a heavy video, you know what I'm saying? That's a heavy video to watch. Cuz it's like, you know, she she a beautiful lady. Gave her her kidneys, her organs, you know what I'm saying? And then had the audacity to say, you know, if God wanted us to be together, he would make a way for us, you know? Oh, uh, why, why? This is why, this is what women talk about, man. When when women talk about, like, men are weak, this is what they refer to. <laughs> They're referencing this guy right here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, dude. Shit! Shit, like, how... Do how, you think you how, would have said something different if she was ugly? Huh? No, no. Like, like this. The value of a mm -hmm. well, because they're they're together, right? You know what I'm saying? If she was ugly, she would not be with me. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, if but they are in a a relationship though. You know what I'm saying? And then like somebody who's down to give their organs to somebody who they're not, you know, married to. That that tells you that speaks volume that she's committed. She truly loves this person. And mm. homeboys are like, mm. I'm going to use this kidney to get more pussy, you know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, man. It's like, what the fuck, man? You know what I'm saying? How can I get my kidney back, man? Shit. Shit. 
Yeah. Um that's that's tough, man. Um tough so one. let's let's really um let's really break it down too, right? Okay, so if do you think he would feel obligated to marry her after she gives the kidney away? Well if you're smart, that would be the smart thing to do. You know what I'm saying? That would be the smart thing to do. I mean coming from experience, right? Coming from uh uh, what is it? Uh, eight eight year marriage now. I think I'm in. I think I'm in eight years. Yeah, eight year marriage, four kids. You know, you, like in life, like like the beauty piece is a little important just to get you started. But like the the loyalty, the commitment, you know, the level of how down you are, right, financially and emotionally and physically, like that matters, you know, significantly more. You know, and she put that up front, unfortunately. Unfortunately for her, you know, and then he just shat, shat on the gift, you know what I'm saying? These people are talking about a Christian, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what, that's the thing, man, about, like, um, people, man, like, whatever religion and culture and, you know, ideology you subscribe to, it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, what you do speaks, you know, speaks more than what you believe in, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, and you can't blame God for that, dude. Be like, hey, man, Jesus Christ wanted this for us, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Damn. Like, Jesus Christ, that, that was your decision to do that. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. God wanted like, you to give me a kidney to save me, and God wanted me to get into this next pussy, you know what I'm saying? In Vegas, in Sin City, baby. Oh, my God. I think eventually he's going to you know, come back to her and regret for sure, man. He's gonna regret that's she she she's a pretty pretty one too you know um but I, so what do you what do you think happened in between though because like have you ever heard a theory where like if when a woman gets pregnant um like the girl the guy treats him like differently because like you know how she is and how she getting bigger and whatnot uh I'm sure that exists. You know what I'm talking about? Like, uh, like sh wait, so he's treating her differently because she's... After, yeah, giving the kidney away because she loves him too much. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, have, have you ever had somebody that liked you too much and you just didn't... You feel awkward? Yeah, my wife. <laughs> you feel right? <laughs> my wife for the first month, I was like, man, she clingy, bro. And then broke up, and then I and I was like, oh shit, I fucked up. <laughs> then yeah, uh, and then I got back with her. Yeah, and then here we are, eight years later, happily married. <laughs> but I, I haven't had too many experiences like those, man. You know what I'm saying? It was always me chasing the woman, you know, and and doing more. That's fair. Um, interesting. It wasn't fair for me because I think those, if those bitches. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, wait, 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 sucks, um, <laughs> it's it's weird how how it works too. Like uh, once I feel like when a girl loves too much, it uh, kind of pushes the guy away, especially if she's in like a sick mode or like a like a, a phase where she's kind of like more ill, and he he wants and he's like you know on the he's loving up. You know, that's tough. Um, but he, I think he's gonna regret. Eventually, he's gonna come back. He's gonna regret. He's trying to get. He's yeah. gonna try to get. Yeah, and it's gonna be too late. Yeah, man, he's, he's shooting himself in the foot. Honestly, you know, I like. I like. I think what you're trying to say is like uh, when a woman feels entitled to a man because she did something. Is that what? Is that what you're trying to say? Hmm. Because I know, I know that that's, that's a good way to put it. Too. I think, I think that's that's the thing too, right? Is that like, oh, she's giving up, you know. Um, she moved to a different city and then, you know, she's giving up a lot more to be with because she's trying to express her love for mm. this person. And then he isn't reciprocating the same kind of commitment. And then, so now it's like, all right, I'm entitled to your love because I'm giving more than you are giving. So I think there's, there's that too. And that could have happened in that relationship mm. is I think what I gave you a kidney. Yeah. So now you minds. My kidney is in you. So yeah. it's like it's like my dick is in you. But I because I don't have one, 
I have a kidney that I put in you. And so you are mine. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's um, entitlement. It feels, yeah. you know, maybe he feels like that's like the end of the world for him. But yeah. then it was just the start for him, yeah. you know? Yeah. He was a brand new person. Uh, it was a start and yeah. he felt entitled. He needed to go back to his old ways in a way, you yeah. know? Oh, yeah. So he's going to make a mistake. Uh, he's going to come back. And um, hey, I wish the best for her, man. It's you know, she's one kidney down, so she can't be uh, you know drinking as much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, imagine, Guinness. Imagine if uh, somebody and somebody gives her his kidney. Hey, that'd be a story to tell, huh? Well, if she ever needs a kidney, she can always go back to him. You know what I'm saying? Because technically, that's her kidney. <laughs> but uh, speaking of kidneys, um, go ahead. Go, 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 go ahead. Uh, Guinness made a, <laughs> a beer with zero alcohol that I'm going to try. It's a stout. I love, you know, you know me, I love my Guinness, my stout, my stout beer, my whiskeys. So Guinness made uh, a stout beer, um, zero alcohol. So I'm going to try that uh, and I'll let you know what I think. Interesting. I um, So I was drinking a non alcoholic Budweiser when I was at um, Whoa. Casa. Okay, interesting. And, um, it was just, it was just, it tasted exactly like beer. Tasted just like shit, like the rest of those light beer lagers. Sometimes I'm like, why the fuck am I drinking this shit? I don't know, I'm good. I don't know why people like lagers and pilsners, man. It's just wheat and water. Literally, but Dude, like. In general, man. Uh... Whoa, 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 don't take it there. Don't take it there. Don't take it there. We we got a lot of beer drinkers, uh, viewers. You know what I'm saying? You might offend somebody. Even uh, like whiskey too. Um, I think the whiskey and coke thing. Um, to be honest, man, like I never really liked it. Whiskey and coke? Oh man, you're not a whiskey drinker. Whiskey and coke. If you need a, whiskey if you need coke, a chaser, up man. Scotch, it's just never my thing. I know, right? That made no sense. Like people don't in. Don't actually enjoy the brewery, right? The brew. They don't enjoy the the hops. They don't enjoy the root, the wheat, the crop, right? They just doing it to get fucked up, you know. And if you're gonna get fucked up, just go straight to Everclear or go straight to weed. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like if you if the if the end goal is to just get fucked up, right? Just go straight there. You just wanna slow. Just go slide. straight there. You know what I'm saying? That's why. That's why I always went straight there back in the day, man. I was just. I was the first one there. No, I was the first one out, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't Captain trying. Captain Morgan. Ooh, was that the cheap liquor? No, Brandy. Brandy was a cheap one. It tastes like shit. That Southern Comfort guy. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, Soco. Yeah, and JB so calls it Soco. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> you know Soco man, you want some Soco? What is that? Uh, uh, Los oh, Salas yeah. one that that green apple uh, Canadian shit. <laughs> oh, oh, green apple crown, whatever crown, yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. That's that. That wasn't uh, bad though. It tastes pretty good. Nah, Canadian whiskey is like uh, is like vodka and a little bit of oak flavors. That's what that's Canadian whiskey, dude. <laughs> yeah. God damn, bro. Um, those were back in the day, man. Uh, I, I, don't, I think I think I've just forced myself to like it. You know. I did not and enjoy I it. I, I never enjoyed it, man. I just, I was just trying to kill myself. That's what I was trying to do, man. Drown you know by, what? The one liquor that I would, I would uh, probably never taste again is probably vodka. Yeah, vodka. Oh yeah, for sure. Vodka is more of a more of a mixer, vodka. man. Mixing kind of drink. Like, just straight up vodka. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Damn. Boom. I don't know how yeah, do that, man. I don't know. It's, I think like, you don't I always need a chaser. You don't hate yourself shot. enough. That's why, man. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta hate yourself to drink, dude. <laughs> you gotta be trying to. You gotta be. You gotta, to, be, you gotta, be, right. you gotta right. be. You gotta be trying to you kill yourself. You trying to. You gotta. You're, you're drinking to try to kill something in you. That's what you're drinking for, man. <laughs> oh shit! Yes, I'm in the pain. But uh, I'm in the pain. You know what is good? Like um, a, a high quality. Was like, What's that? For our little segment, I wanted to talk about your alliance. 
where do you think they're gonna go? Uh, I think well, they're they're definitely gonna be in the Super yeah, Bowl, the playing in the Super Bowl, but they ain't, they ain't winning. I don't believe that they're gonna win. Unfortunately, no. No, they they're just playing like shit, bro. Like in the in the games that they should have won, they did not win. You know what I'm saying? So so that's them choking. And then when you, when you playing for the big one, they they're gonna choke. They they've been playing good, no doubt, but yeah. it's like. When it comes time to the winning game, they're they're gonna choke. So I, I have no faith in them winning. I'm uh I'm not rooting for them because I want the the Rams to win. And if the Rams win and the Packers win, the Packers come to LA to play. So I get to see them. Oh, okay, nice. So uh I'm rooting for the um for the Rams. But uh, you know, if your if your Lions win, um, I do want them to go all the way because they need a Super Bowl. Man, dude, uh, Ravens at thirteen four, dude. They're the only one that's thirteen and four right now. They are dominant in the game right now. You know, Lions Lions should have won two uh, of their games. The one with Green Bay and then that other shit team. So they could have had fourteen and, oh, and three. You know what I'm saying? The recent one, when they the one they got gypped by, I think Dallas, right? Oh, okay, so three games. Yeah, the, the Dallas one, yeah, yeah I, they I got gypped by one. Dallas. So they could have won three games. That was a tough one. And they would have been fifteen and two. You know what I'm saying? Then I would have been like, yeah, they they winning the Super Bowl this year, but the two games, uh, they fucked up. The the Dallas one, I don't know. Uh, a lot of people felt like you know they got cheated out of that one, but. You should have seen it, man. You should have seen it. It was rigged, dude. So rigged. Did you did you know that the refs are um they're not allowed to um, refs in the playoffs at all? Damn. Basically fired until next year, dude, because of that incident. <sighs> yeah, it was tough. Oh, what a tough. Wow, go a... Lions, man. Go Lions. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you, man. See you guys at the NFC Championship. That be that be that be cool to see. Thanks, dude. Um, I'm not really a sports person. I just I just like to root for the Lions because I'm from Detroit, and my in laws, like bro, my, that's what I like to my, do. My in laws like and my best friend like the Green Bay Weenies. Um, so, shout out, shout out to you guys. Amen. It's uh, amen. Yes, amen. You you're a Troll City man. <laughs> First thing I look at is your profile. What is he doing now? <laughs> is he is he posting? Is he switching to Green Bay now? What? What's up? <laughs> oh yeah, did you see that for the Thanksgiving game, dude? I I, I put a Green Bay picture up. Oh man, no, that shit was funny, dude. Yeah. Oh man. Hey man. Um, that's funny though. All right, cool man. Thanks for that segment. Thanks thanks for that horrible reminder. Uh, let's move on. Alright, um, hold on, let me, let me turn on my, let me move this away, because I don't think I can hear it. Alright, right, let me know when you're ready. Strong, weak men create masculine women, and strong men create feminine women. Like, not by force, but simply by loving well, and leading well. A lazy, weak man creates a woman who is required to step into the role that he doesn't step into. But a strong, humble man creates a woman who is safely submitted to her husband yes. without fear of losing who she is, without fear that she's going to be dropped. Like a lot Well, that's good you said that because submission is really putting yourself in the hands of another. And I think deep down, people don't like the idea of submission because it's really a lack of trust. Mm -hmm. And can I trust that you're going to be different than the last guy or like all men? And we develop these kind of negative views. Yes, sir. And we say, well, why can't women, you know, why can't men submit to women then? And we say things like that that are just out of what God designed. Fear. Yeah, and I think know? we're just afraid. Jeez, huh? Man, how do you um, feel about that one, dude? That was solid, man. I I completely agree. That's uh, that's solid. Um, 
Okay. That's why there's a lot of lesbians where, the, like, there's a you know a guy. You know, you know, this is uh, actually a deeper topic than that you think it is. That, that we think it is. At least I think it is. Um, All right, explain. Because submission, submission is basically losing, right? It's not losing. <laughs> but oh, sorry, I, well, I interjected. It, go, go ahead, explain. It, it, the reason why I say it is, is losing because, like, you are you're like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step back and i'm gonna like let you let you do it right i think the okay i, I feel like i'm jumping i have so much that i want to say but i'm jumping, trying to like yeah, tie it together yeah, yeah, yeah so for men too men like we have this way of society of telling you know woman apartment and support woman apartment and if you don't support woman apartment you are a bad person Right. And then woman apartment also means that, you know, demeaning men in a way. Right. And also like leading in a way. Right. Um, <laughs> being more superior, you know. So there's a lot of com conflicting um, things that, that goes on. So I think if uh, if you know what you want in a relationship, and you just gotta find the right person with it because I know men that are that wants women to lead, that wants them to be free and, and be equal, and that's completely up to them, you know. And but that's not how I want it, you know. And a lot of these girls, a lot of these women, uh, they feel so entitled, and it's hard to find um, a feminine woman. Well, I think uh... look, I'm kind of. <coughs> <laughs> going around circles but i think uh <clears throat> i think um what is it uh uh women women probably feel that way right or or the women who feel like i had to step up or men ain't shit because we make we kind of make mm. decisions based on our past right you know um we judge our next relationship based on our past history right based on our past experiences so when you when she goes into this next relationship and her past relationship were men who who weren't ambitious or, or who didn't take the the man role that that you know that God intended right whatever she believes in um but who didn't take charge or who weren't ambitious who didn't you know aspire to do more with their life you know um and then so when she goes into the next relationship you know she said she maybe she thinks that hey you know what I'm going to take charge of this relationship you know what I'm saying I'm going to take charge of my life and I'm going to tell him you know what I'm saying? How to love me. I'm going to tell him, you know, what to do. So that way he can become better, right? Because sometimes that's what it is. Sometimes that's what men need too, right? Is somebody to whip your ass to get you moving in life, you know? So maybe that's what women are thinking is that, hey, maybe I got to whip him to the shape. But hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm not his mama. I ain't going to whip him to the shape. If he ain't acting right, then I'm just going to leave his ass, you know? Um, so so there's, there's that too, right? You know? Because like if... Um, you know, that's, that's how I based my my uh, uh, relationship based on my past relationship. It was just like I, I was always down to go 100 and give it my all. And then when I met my wife, you know, she was down. But then but that was weird for me, you know, because because my past history said that, hey, women just ain't moving, you know. So you you got to do the right. pursuing. But then when my wife was pursuing me. She made the first moves. I was acting the dick. And she still was consistent with it. And then it was like, oh, okay, I get it. This is what, you know, a mature person, you know, this is what somebody who knows what they want acts like. You know what I'm saying? This is this is what somebody who is down yeah. acts like. You know, they they consistently pursue you, you know. And so, you know, eight years later, we're still married with four kids. Uh, but, but, but that's what I mean, like, is that, like, we perhaps, you know, not so much the culture too you know i'm sure that plays a big part of it whenever you know you're 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 tuning into these you know feminism things or you know these uh simp things you know whatever the fuck you're tuning into you know it plays on your insecurities or it plays on your strengths or whatever you know and then so it it it, it, it does feel empowering when when the message is hey you don't need a man you know what i'm saying you can do it you know you can do everything a man can do you know so 
So if you do find a man, he's got to be the man because you deserve that. So so when when they're brainwashed this way, right, and then it's just playing into their, right, like I said, insecurities or the past, the past relationships, right, we're just a bunch of weenies. We're just a bunch of weenies. And now you got this message in your head and then now you're going into the next relationship, you know, just crazy you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i think i think that's that's part of it man i think that's most of it um you know of course you know the culture has something to do with it but it's at the same time you know like if, if guys were stepping up and you know unfortunately you know women do have to compromise in the short term so that way you know, pe people grow you know what i'm saying yeah you gotta give people time to grow you know i mean we're in our 20s we're in our 30s we're still growing you know so, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, I, I think, I think, um, women that grow, um, when I say like, girl, they get older, like when they're forty, they already, um, set with their ways. So I think, um, yeah, I've no, what I've noticed too. This is what I've noticed: like, women that are a uh, thirty uh, and and older, they are they are unwilling more unwilling to submit to a man than a woman that's in her 20s yeah you know and especially in the 40s um like you really have to be the equal yeah to or make that kind of money that really big dough you know so um what the question is so what would make a woman submit or what would a man why would they want to submit. I think uh I think leadership qualities, uh perhaps. I think I think traditional values too. Okay. You know, on both parts. It is not just the one part, you know what I'm saying? Like if you if you want like that traditional kind of sense of things where a man takes the lead and then the woman supports, you know, then I think um like uh I think they have to grow up around that kind of influence, you know. Um, healthy influences okay. of course and then when they get together they have to okay. um connect in that manner you know the everything just kind of falls into place almost you know um uh, I, and if it doesn't then they just kind of learn their place you know i think the personality traits take over maturity takes over communication takes over like all that all that plays a, a big part of it man i think it's very important um because right at the end of the day is that you you guys are trying to build a life. I think, I think like, like people. I I don't know if people like go into relationships with the intention of building a life together. You know, I think I think some people go into a relationship, um, with no intention, right, or like a very vague intention, like a happily ever after. Right, it's right. just gonna work itself out. I don't know, right? Um, like, like yeah. Like, with the flow kind of thing yeah just just let just let hit, shit hit them in the face you know what i'm saying so i think um when you're intentional with with uh who you are and your life and your purpose and then you go into a relationship with the intention of hey you know we're we're gonna build our life together you know there's gonna be have to be compromises because we come from different universes you know what i wanted before you is totally different from what you want for yourself and so when we come together and, and truly build our life together we have to eventually compromise some of the shit that we wanted to do for the things that or, or we have to compromise what we pers you know we specifically ourselves want to do so that way we as in the couple me and my loved one right my, my significant other what we want to do you know so like you know the the what is it uh you know, back in the day, we, we used to really be be really big into the dance thing, right? And then now that's kind of, you know, put on the shelf, you know, so that way we can pursue, um, or so that way I can pursue, you know, life with my wife and kids and stuff like that. And then, of course, you can make sh shit like that work out too, but I think for us specifically, in our case, you know, that, that would have to definitely be put on the shelf, you know, um. So, that. so let me ask you this um you, you've been married with your wife for, for a while now what's what's three three common things that you like to do um that is like out of the ordinary little bit like 
together. Other than you know, uh, you know, example like watching movies, and that's pretty common. What's something that you guys both enjoy doing? And like three things together. I'd say, I, <laughs> you know, we're not we're not spontaneous people, dog. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, we're, we're very boring people. Like binge watching, like right now we're binge watching The Walking Dead. Uh, we've already seen it, but we're we're watching it again. Um, okay. We we enjoy eating out, you know, because that's time for us to explore time for us to eat shit and then time for us to um connect and talk you know about our life and stuff like that so, and then let time, me ask you this. time with uh, our kids so those are the three things so um okay going out to eat right yeah so do you guys pick the same cuisine do you guys what do you guys do how do you i i i, I usually i usually plan uh the evening the date and then when we get there we just buy shit and then talk how would you feel if she was to plan the date? Not do you she, feel like she? It's not going to be planned if she plans the date. It's like it's, I'm going to end up planning the date if she plans the date. That's so I just planned the date. <laughs> She's not the plan. Okay, so she is guys, not the planner um, of this relationship, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. You know I've I've shown her more places here than she's ever been. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. Like she's like, oh, I didn't know this was here. I was like, what the fuck? You been living here your whole life? You don't know this goddamn place? But then, uh, so so that's our relationship, you know. Uh. <laughs> that's good, man. Um, you guys help each other out. I think uh, it's a good um, yin and yang, you know. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Um, but Ben watching The Walking Dead though. Yeah. Damn, I, again. Man, it's good, man. It's good, man. It's a it's a show about leadership, man. It's such it's so good, man. Our society, you know, and, yeah, and they're making tough choices. It's good. It's a good. It's good. It's it's, it's good to watch it a second time so, around. Okay, like finding new things and whatnot, and oh well, yeah, because I'm a different. Okay. Well, I I see it from a different lens now. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think when I watched it, it was just me and me and my wife, and then I was just, it was just it was a zombie apocalypse movie. But then now I'll rewatch it. It's like mm. it's a leadership movie, you know. So. Hmm. 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 Cool. Yeah. Um. Uh, all right. Next segment. That was pretty good. Yeah. Cool, man. Okay. Here we go, kid. Ready? It's, it's, it's mostly text. Did you see it? Um, okay, so I don't know. Anybody use try to actually change? Yeah, okay. Okay. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, that was, that was the text? That, this is the text? Yeah. Oh, okay. The first, the first half of the video was when you buy a used car, you have to pay for the price of the damage done by others. And then the second half, like this is not about cars. Damn! I saw that shit, man. I was like, "Ooh, a Miata." I was like, "Oh, this is a car video." <laughs> and then this is not about cars. I was like, "Ooh, man, that got me. Um, got me in the soul." Yeah, try to try to get try to get low owners, man, because uh, in, in real life too. Uh, one owner, well taken, well car are priced way higher than used car that has been into accidents. Um, you know, put that in uh, in, in a relationship perspective. The same thing. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Um, don't put a lot of miles on your on your body, and um, I'm sure <laughs> you'll miles. find somebody that will appreciate you. You know, before yeah, find somebody that will appreciate you, and uh, not don't find a boy, find a man to to take care of you and take care of your your um your body your and main and that can maintain your uh, your body. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maintenance. Put some mileage on that on that body. <laughs> you mean body count? <laughs> Only on the weekend. I think uh I think uh, uh man you know that's uh 
Okay, well, actually, actually, you want to express a little bit more, or was that, was that it? Uh, I've always liked the uh, the car analogy because um, it it really brings a lot of a uh, a di different perspective in in the human world. Because like, you know, like cars low miles, clean title is value way much more than a savage title with a bunch of miles that's all messed up. The messed up, like the trauma, whatever it may be, like you gotta clean that shit, you gotta fix that shit, clean the engine up, like clean, switch your oil up, man. Yeah. Um, stop sticking the same oil. You know, it, it don't work for you. Yeah, you know, fix those damages. Hundred percent, man. Then the car analogy, like, because it's like you you take care of the things you value, you know, and this mechanical machine mm -hmm. has uh. It's only going to be as valued as much as it's taken care of, you know, and then so, yeah, yeah, and and, and likewise with a human being, you know, you're you're gonna go, things are gonna break down, you're gonna go through some shit, um, you know, uh, you, you either abuse it or conserve it, right, and and so yeah, I, I see the analogy there, man. So, cool. Yeah, I love it, dude. That's um. That's a good quote. I think uh, I remember. Do you remember uh, Roberto? Uh, no, Roberto. Yeah. He had a uh, analogy about uh, the car too. Um, about the uh, the marathon is you know you gotta gas up, you gotta maintain the car. I remember him telling me that a while back, and after that day, I just analogy lived with me forever till this day, and well, he just made me thought of that. What's the what's the analogy? Um, uh, if you want to go far, you know, you gotta, you know, take breaks, you gotta gas up, you gotta, you know, re up to go again. You can't just keep on putting your the gas pedal and, and expect to go somewhere, you know, oh, yeah, you gotta yeah. go steady, uh, going steady, um, steady and slow will get you there. Yeah. And I was like, damn, Roberto, wisdom, my guy. He's a, he's a whole mentor now, he's, he's doing good. He's got like four kids now too. Oh yeah! Oh shit! Okay, cool, man. Yeah, man. He's got a big family. Uh, he's got a cafe. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, he reached out to me not too long ago. Not not mean maybe like last year, but um, yeah, man. Homie's doing good. Shout out to Roberto, man. Nice, nice. Is he still doing fitness? So he's doing this thing. Um, it's kind of like um, like a pyramid. I don't, the worst way to say it is is pyramid scheme, but uh, um, very similar concept that they have. Um, but it's more like entrepreneurship, where you pay forty bucks for a membership, you go you get access to unlimited training online. Okay. And like some gyms, and if you sign up for other or you know two other people, you get twenty bucks. So you get free membership basically if you signed up two people. And you get unlimited uh, fitness training uh, online and uh, access to uh, a certain amount of gyms, something like that. I thought that was a pretty cool concept. It was getting people Solid. to uh, go to the gym. I mean, you're, you're going to pay 10 bucks at Planet Fitness and not go to it. Or you pay 20 bucks to go with your homie, you know what I'm saying? So I think it's, I think it's cool. That's solid. Or you can get it for free if you get two other homies with you. So or, them up. yeah, or, or you stop being a bitch and, you know, do some home exercises, man. A bunch of YouTube videos, you know, get you fit, you know what I'm saying? You just have the self-disciplinary to, you know, do a little jumping jacks here and there, and little push-ups here and there, you know what I'm saying? His program is pretty cool, though. Um, <laughs> it's basically like a whole fitness, like, thing, like fitness plan, uh, fitness coach. Um, there, there is, so yeah. Anyone that's, like, just a little bit lost. Okay. That's good. Yeah, you know. yeah. That's that. That's where the value is. Is having a coach, you know, to say, "Hey, this is what you need to work yeah. on." You know, so somebody, to, an expert to guide you, pretty much. Uh, shout out to Satana. That's said, the hard part. Satana said, "What up, uh, Frankie?" I just want to say I'm excited to see content from the LA Mo New Years. Better. Hey, Satana. Um, deliver, man. Deliver on that, man. It's gonna be good. It's going to be good. Uh, I got this new venue, uh, and it's really intimate. I'm excited to host it. Um, Prep time, dude. Prep. And you will definitely. Yeah, it's uh, a couple days away. 
pretty nervous to be honest. I've uh, been prepping all, week, so pretty excited. You gonna go live or or what, what's the uh, what's the deal with that? Oh, I should go live, huh? You're right. We're going live Saturday, Saturday night. We're going live. Okay, that's what's happening. Cool, man. But uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna go live. I think that I think that's uh, I would say the to the way. to the video, uh, I, you know, like I think um, I think that's that's where like the value of uh, having a therapist or or somebody who can help you unpack your emotions and stuff like that. Whether it be a life partner or just a friend, you know what I'm saying? Because like trauma comes from not just relationships, but you know, from um, just life experiences. So you know, I think uh, just putting that out there, I guess. You know, um, I still listen to Dr. K. Uh, hopefully, I, I you like shared morning uploads. Okay. Uh, what was it? I said you 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 share Dr. K one. Um, so he, yeah, he's he's awesome, man. Um, he basically diagnoses you know little things, uh, daily things, habits, meditation. Yeah. Um, but I think the willingness to willingness to change man i think that's that's the most important thing is the willingness to to figure out okay i'm not perfect what can i change because yeah. once you have the mentality you will find the answer but if you are not willing to change and not willing to go with therapy and not notice that you are maybe the problem yeah then that's already the problem 100 so. percent, dude car analogy man you have to diagnose that that issue you know or live with it you know, sometimes, well, actually, you know, I have a check engine light right now uh, that I've been neglecting for a very long time. It's a, uh, um, I have a scanner, so I do know what the problem is. It's just, I think, I think the, uh, the muffler is not connected well, or, or maybe there's a hole in it or some shit like that. So I just, I, I'm living with it is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not, it's, it's nothing big, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I can but I think it. it's also something that you could fix pretty easy too, right? Like the the mask, the masking tape. Yeah, that they have. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, but it's winter, bro. It's winter, so I wouldn't even. Yeah. I spent way too much fucking money in that car already. I don't want to spend anymore. That's uh, that's where I'm at. Hey, what did you? What did you do? So I bought uh, I bought the element. Mean, I bought the I bought the element for four grand. Right, tax and title and all mm. that shit. Add another five hundred bucks to it, so forty five. I'm in, and then um, I forgot what the maintenance were done, but ten ten grand later, you know, uh, I'm where I'm at. So <laughs> I don't want to spend. What did you spend for ten grand, dude? That's shit. There's no way. Sh I think something grand. about the steering, and then some other part was leaking, and then there's a, a crazy ass rattle in the back, and then um. You know, a little shit here and there. Ten grand total. I'm ten grand total into that car. So, mm. not one of uh, not Probably one of my, like a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It runs, it runs a lot better now, man. But cost me ten grand, <sighs> motherfucker. Not, not my best buy, but hey, you know, um, it was an emotional buy, and uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Uh, moving on to the next video. That's fair, man. Yeah, my, mine's been doing pretty good. Mine's doing pretty good. Um, smaller maintenance, oil change. Oh, what's the what's the mileage on it? At, uh, one hundred and ninety. I used the oil change uh, last month. My my, I'm at uh, ninety eight thousand. Yeah, I think a nine, ninety eight something. Like that. Damn, only. Yeah, yeah dude. Damn, original original miles, baby. baby. Well, that's why that's why I bought it for four grand, man. I was like, yeah, I'm getting a deal, baby. And then six grand later, yeah, that's cheap. And I was like, oh shit, it's not even the. Uh, and that's just maintenance, though, you know. Yeah, that's just maintenance. This is the DX version, so this is the lowest, uh, uh, low, lowest trim, man. I don't have a uh, power power windows. No, no, I I don't have uh what is it power mirrors. I don't have a. Uh, uh, the heat, the heat in that car sucked dick, and then um, the AC kind of works, and so you know, I there was definitely a trade off there. Um, so the car analogy, man, you know, I'm paying for somebody else's abuse, but uh, 
I don't think it's worth it. But <laughs> let's let's go on to this next video. <laughs> you ready? Yes. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see that? Let's watch it again, dude. <laughs> that's that's hard not to miss, bruh. Ah, damn, bro. Ah, oh. hey, that 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 is hard. That is hard. <laughs> man, give the man pops just to. Damn. Dog, that's hilarious, dog. <laughs> it goes to our conversation earlier, man. It's like men, men, men are just like animals like that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's in your face and it's just like unavoidable, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that's tough, bro. That's that's tough. God damn. That's funny, man. Uh, but the jiggle effects, man. Woo! Spot on, dude. Props to the chick, man. She worked for that, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, Genetics. Uh, it's, it's look, it looks bouncy. It don't look like a muscle to me. It look like a bouncy, <laughs> bouncy one to me. Yeah. Genetics, bro. Genetics oh, speaking. Man. It's wild, bro. Um, yeah, that's my last video. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have anything to say. I just wanted to share that with you. I thought... Uh, I thought we'd uh, appreciate that video together, you know. So. <laughs> trying to get, trying to get us in trouble, man. Oh man. Um, but and uh, so, I'm, I'm glad you kind of showed this video too because um, me and Jimmy has been talking about these kind of stuff. Oh yeah. Um, just yeah. So uh, he's going. He he's, he's going. He went to a men's group. And uh, there's a lot of these issues, it's the same issue that we're talking about right here. I know we're kind of joking about it, but um, yeah. So he, so what he's been doing, right? Uh, he's been, um, what is it, fasting? Oh, okay. And supposedly, uh, fasting is supposed to help your uh, your temptations. Oh, okay. Um, and he said it's been it's been helping him a lot. Um, it says. Interesting. Um. Okay, so you, I'll read what he says, okay? Yeah. Fasting was the main weapon for spiritual welfare that God had taught me in Europe. I was asking God to help me with wandering eyes he used to teach me with food. Uh, everything I looked at may not be healthy for me, like bread or sweets. And specifically speaking, you know, to keep your gut healthy with pro um, products and probiotics and theory and your mind should be healthy as well. You should be you should never be sick. Your stomach is lingering and connected to your brain. It is called a vagus nerve. Interesting. Uh, the spiritual speaking God reveal the demons that control Gutenly is the same demon that controls lust. So I thought it was a very interesting thing for to me. This was a lesson in Europe because I was getting so exhausted checking out beautiful women everywhere. After seven days of fast in Europe, Helped me not wander my eyes, and so crazy. All afterwards, I was just wasn't interested in checking out women anymore. Nice, good for him, dude. Did, did what did he, what is so, uh? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, the cool fact that he, he brought it here was like the stomach lining is connected to our brain through what is called the vagus nerve. Okay, that's hmm. right. so. The temptations of uh, eating if you mm. can hold that back it's it's um yeah and the spiritual or uh, especially speaking he says god revealed the demon that controls goldenly is the same demon that controls lust i think he meant um like food Gl gluttony G, uh, gluttony G -L -U gluttony gluttony yeah controls gluttony is the same demon that controls lust that's that's a pretty cool fact, man. Um, so yeah, if you have troubles, um, 
with women try to um yeah fast yeah. fast that's good yeah so you're gonna fast is that what you're saying am i gonna fast <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe i should huh you know what you know what you know what? I, I i am i am gonna fast but yet i'm gonna do it tonight i'm start tonight tomorrow today start today is he talking about like fasting, fasting, or like intermittent, intermittent fasting? Because fasting is like not eating, uh, you know. Yeah. There's a thing called a, yeah, a dry one meal. There's a there's a not 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 a meal at all. It's, so there's a, a wet fast and a dry fast. A dry fast is where you don't eat or drink anything, you know, for a certain period of time, and a wet a wet fast is where you just drink water and coffee. That's it. And the intermittent fasting is yeah, like uh, intermittent fasting is like only eating from twelve to nine, I think, or or I think from two p.m. to nine or some shit like that. That's intermittent fasting. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go intermittent fasting. Let's do that. Cause I I can't. I don't think I can. Energy man. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna try to try to intermittent fasting. How All about right. that? Yeah, man. Nope. And I'm I'm still gonna eat <laughs> when I want to, and I'm also gonna drink off whenever I can. <laughs> hey man, God, God is watching you. Is watching. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey man, that's why I'm in incognito mode, man. You know Nobody can drag me on incognito mode, cause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like Peter, that's not uh, that's not what it is. What? what? Oh, see it. That's funny. I'm yep. gonna go to the men's group this Sunday and see. I'll tell you how it goes. Oh, nice. Okay, men's group. Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, did you uh, did you uh, say hi you to that Korean chick? That's what I want to know. Did you say hi to that Korean? I didn't chick? see her. Oh, dude, she fell I in love. I didn't see her. She fell in love yeah. and got married, dude. Too late for you, man. Too late so, for you, dude. But but the nah, nah, it's not it's not too late. It's not too late yet. It's you gonna be a home wrecker? Because this is this No 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 no. Um I'm signing up to be more involved with the church. So oh, I'm gonna be in the production side. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Um Man. in February. So Damn, dude, you got a lot of shit on your plate, bro. Uh, let me tell you that. <laughs> that sounds like a lot um, of shit on your plate. <laughs> I think if I spend, I think if I spend, um, you know, my Sundays over there, I think that's that's reasonable. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just gotta be, gotta be involved somehow, man. I just, I feel like I'm um, just going to church and getting out. It's just no wrong. Wasn't enough. Um, no wrong with that. I wanna. I don't know. Something's calling me, man. Something's telling me to to be involved. So um, okay. yeah, that's the first step is to see if um, see if I fit anywhere in there. And, um, okay. Cool. All right, that ends this. Uh, um, this uh, that ends this episode. Unless you got something to say, last thing to say, in last well, words. Cool man. That is it. Every Thursday, you already know what time it is, man. 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Shout out to the homies. On a Patreon, Johnny, Youngy, and Payne, and Frankie, the one over there. Um, thanks for tuning in. Episode thirty-eight. You know what I'm saying? Signing out, man. I see you. We'll see you on the next episode. See you guys next Thursday, guys. Peace.